What's up everybody? Gold Champ here and we got a beauty of a rooftop unit. Love rooftop air conditioners. So today we're going to do things a little bit different. We're going to shred this sucker from top to bottom, beginning to end, because I want to know what the weights are on this thing. So what we're going to do is the opposite of what I normally do, which is get a nice big load and bring it all in at once, because that's the smart thing to do. But well, we're going to be curious today instead of smart. We're going to bring in a load that is just this rooftop, completely broken down and separated, and see what the average weights are, what the value of a rooftop unit is. This one is a really good average. It's definitely a uh, medium size, but it's not dinky at all. Some of them, some of them are the weights on them, even though they look big are smaller than residential units I get. So this one is gonna be a, a nice average for us, even though we're only getting an average of one of them. I've seen enough of them to know the size of them and some are so huge you could never even move them. I was able to get this one with a dolly and a little bit of help. So this one is just right at the limit of being a medium sized rooftop air conditioner and almost crossing the line into large. So let's tear it up. Took us a little over 25 minutes. Got that sucker totally ripped down and loaded up. Let's take a quick look at it. And then when we go to cash it in, let's see what we end up with. And let's say maybe 20 bucks worth of steel. It might be under the limit. The yard I go to that gives me the best price for my copper actually has a minimum. For your steel. Well, there's a chance I won't get paid on that, but hopefully I get 20 bucks for that. I think these coils, they're decent size, they're not gigantic. I think they'll be over 100 bucks, maybe 110. Should be about 15 bucks for the compressor, a couple dollars for the ends, a couple dollars for the wires and the one board, maybe five total together. Maybe 15 for the motors, that might be pushing it. Maybe another 15 for the copper. I think those are actually kind of high estimates. They'll probably all be a little less than that. Let's see, 15, 30, 45. If that's one, I will just call it 100 on the coils. So 145 with the ends and the wires. We're gonna call it 150. 150, 165, 170, 185. So let's say $185 over or under. Okay, we got the results from that rooftop unit. And we actually came in over, which was a really pleasant surprise. About 10 bucks over what I had estimated. 
and I was afraid I would come in under on it. And uh, adding all that up, just real quickly, I think that comes close to like 450 pounds. And uh, over half of that is sheet iron, but uh, we got some really good weights out of the ACRs on that one. and So I'm pretty pleasantly surprised by this one, I'm not going to lie. Ended up over.